Hey guys, Rob from KY Constrictors here. And waiting for eggs is one of the most exciting things we can do as a reptile breeder. And it's one of the most difficult things as a reptile breeder. Today I'm going to pull clutch number two. She finally laid for me. Five days of overdue, you know, the not really overdue. They lay 27 to 40 days after post or pre-lay shed, post ovulation shed. back with another video pulling clutch number two that's right number two of the season gonna pull it right now the pairing was a mystic potion male to a lesser female so hoping to hit my bell this clutch pretty good odds of doing that anyway two out of four should be a white snake anyway uh oddly enough Nothing will be lesser because the Mystic Potion is an allelic combination between Mojave and Mystic. So everything's going to be Mojave or Mystic. Just like if it was a super. The allelic combinations act like super. So it's either going to be Mojave or it's going to be Mystic. And anything with lesser, those combinations make a white snake. Um probably the Mojave Lesser being the wider of the two um, anyway I'm I'm a, I'm ecstatic it looks like it's a pretty good clutch uh, she looks like she's done so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this girl off her eggs alright guys so as you can see she's all wrapped up nice high and tight looks like a big egg there uh, looks like a great looking egg as a matter of fact but I'm pretty sure this girl here, she knows I'm here. So I've been stalking her for like the last five days. She was actually due on Monday. Today's Saturday. So yeah, I've been keeping a close eye on her. She knows I'm here. And if y'all remember one of my last videos, yeah, this is the girl that I'm a little worried about. Because... She's the only one that's ever bit me. And it doesn't feel good. Not, not No adult ball python snake bite ever feels good. And yeah. Let's get bit. Alright guys. So. Clutch number two is ready to pull. And if you remember. One of my last videos. A couple weeks ago. I talked about this girl. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not real nervous around my snakes, but this has me a little jittery, I'm not going to lie. And I think you're about to see why. So, here we go, you're probably going to get an exciting video. And in the intro I mentioned time to get bit. I don't mean that these animals are mean, I don't mean that they're out to bite us. This animal is doing her job. As a mom, she's protecting her eggs. She doesn't know that what I'm doing for her is the best for her, and that's another topic. I only pull these eggs so I can get this girl back on food, because otherwise she would go 60 days without eating, pulled around her eggs the whole time, or she would not. It's just all in all better to go ahead, get her back on food, get her back to eating, 
get a better um, incubation rate. Otherwise, let's just do this. Let's, I'm a little nervous, so you'll have to bear with me. Hopefully she doesn't try to take my head off. Let's see if I can get her out from here. Looks like she's done a good job. Looks like a pretty decent sized clutch. like a nice looking clutch uh, they're nice and fresh got a slug that is the very first for me um, let me give this to my monitor a little bit later let him let him chomp at it I guess anyway we'll set that off to the side so it looks like we got one two three four five six seven eight eggs seven good one slug so that's where these come in handy all right let's see here I need an ink pen. anyway i'm not gonna bore you with uh filling out the card i do use the jkr clutch record cards um one thing i do want to talk about is easy hatch trays but first off I want to get a weight on this clutch of eggs and I'll tell you why I want to do that so put the eggs in there including the slug and we got come over here a minute. 782 83 gram cl clutch I want to write that down and the reason being is because I weigh this girl when I go to put her back and that way I know what she weighed before she laid her clutch she ovulated two weeks later she shed out and she was due to lay her eggs on 427 and actually went 28, 29, 30, 31. She went six days over her due date, which is typically normal. 27 to 40 days. It's just how it is. Anyway, we'll go ahead and move this back so we can work here. I'll get all this. I'll get her new tub cleaned up. She's enjoying a nice soak right now. I put her in just plain water to start. Because I want to give her a chance to drink some water. And she can do that for about five minutes. And then I'll put a little Dawn dish liquid in there. Let her soak for about 30 minutes. We'll get these eggs apart. 
one thing that I'm working with, and this is the very first clutch that I'm trying it out, is easy hatch trees. I've seen them. I like the looks of them. I like the design. I like how they sit close. They kind of concave down close to the substrate, so without touching it. But, let's see here. I don't have a marker, but we'll get these eggs apart. And the more you do this, guys, the better you actually will get at it. Just, you gotta take your time. Just try not to rip one. Tiny holes. See how that went and laid like that? It's just a, it's like glue. I do like the easy hatch trays though, just because you don't have to. Uh, worry about them rolling around they position in pretty nicely she done a fabulous job first time mom you want to know what something's funny is I picked that girl up on a trade last year and she was actually supposed to be a boy from my experience and just judging, I knew something wasn't right. So I uh, sexed her, popped as a female. Sure enough, I said, I'm gonna throw a male in with her. If they fight, then yeah, she's a boy. That wasn't showing me her uh, hemi pings, but sure enough, she gave me a lock. I keep track, and this is. This clutch was laid with one, two, three, four, five locks. Usually after five locks, I'll I'll let them do their thing. If they're gonna lay, they're gonna lay. If they're not, they're not. Anyway, I'm gonna get these eggs candled up. Make sure the embryo is sitting on top. Uh, get this girl all cleaned up. Like I said, Dawn dish liquid. It'd be about time to put that in there with her right now. She can get all cleaned up, get that egg smell off of her. Just a little bit, guys, not a whole lot. You don't want a whole lot. Her moving around will suck it up just enough. We get all this cleaned up with Dawn and F10, and we'll put her back. We'll offer her a, a decent sized meal. Not too big, but you know. Not as big as she would normally eat, but definitely big enough to where we can add some weight back on it. Get her back eating. That's the whole idea. Um, if you like this video, you all know what to do. I'm not going to tell you all to do that even though I'm telling you. You see how, what I did there. I told you not. I'm not going to tell you to like it when I'm saying, hey, like it. I, I, I like it. 
Got little puppies like that. Uh, it's been a while since I uploaded. I got a bunch of updates coming. I mean a bunch. So many that I can't even tell you in, in this video. All I'm saying is stay tuned. This room is going to get redone. My backyard has been redone. That's where I've been. I've not been able to record because I've been so busy working outside, building things. I'll just take a quick tour when I'm done and make sure that you'll be good. Alright guys, so I got everything candled up here, and as you can see, we got seven beautiful eggs. So I'm going to go ahead and mark the tops. We got great veins. Very nice embryos. She done a great job. Great, great mom. And this is a first for me. First slug.